Yeah. Let's have a session more interactive. So just share me, what is your understanding on data analytics? Analyzing the data. Perfect. Others? Ma'am, uh, getting insights from raw data. Oh, perfect. So uh, data analytics is nothing but there will be a, a huge raw data in a business or a company. So data analyst role is to, you know, converting the raw data into meaningful insights. So that will be helpful for the business to analyze the trend and it will be helping for the business to make a decision and it, it will be optimizing the, you know, profits of the company. So that uh, data analytics is booming nowadays. And... Yeah, it is most important to know the uh, basic terminologies in data analytics. One is data analysis, analytics, and data analyst. So data analysis is nothing but, you know, uh, cleaning the data, transforming the data, modeling the data, and into the meaningful information or a meaningful insights. That process is known as data analysis. Data analytics is nothing but converting the raw data into uh, you know, the meaningful insights, structured data, the conversion, the process using the different tools is known as data analytics. And data analyst is nothing but he's a person who will be you know, using data analysis and analytics process to uh, convert a data and give a meaningful insights for the business. So these are the three concept, three terminologies uh, should be known as a data analyst. Analysis is a process of cleaning, transforming and modeling the data uh, to discover a useful information. And data analytics is nothing but converting the raw data into uh, useful insights by using different uh, technologies and transforming the data into actionable insights. Analyst is nothing but is a process uh, where the person, data analyst, will use data analysis and analytics to draw useful insights for a business helpful for the decision making. Right? So, and we have. Uh, yeah, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. So we have, like, you know, Radha and Sunny Ronak. Uh, joined yesterday also just will finish demo session uh, like you know uh, 20 to 30 minutes and we'll continue with the session uh, where we stopped yesterday okay uh, ma'am one more thing yes. so data analysis is a process so that you know where we can go with like multiple process we understand that and data analytics is nothing but it is a collection of tools like example power bi and again tableau mm -hmm. and again the coding language like you no know, r language python is it true mm -hmm. one is it like that it's a data analytics Yes, exactly. Uh, like, you know, Vishwa, you, uh, we will be, you know, cleaning the data, transforming the data using the various tools. As you said, we'll use database SQL. And for visualization, we'll be using Power BI. For coding and all, uh, programming language, we'll be using Python. So these are the tools we'll be using to convert the data into a useful insights. And one more thing, ma'am. So the data analytics is nothing but, you know, it is also involved here Google Analytics. Yes, exactly. All right, ma'am. So thank you then. Yeah, please go ahead. Thank you. Yeah. So hi, Sushila. Uh, Sushila, can you please unmute yourself and uh, give a self-introduction about yours? Hi, ma'am. Are you able to hear me? Yes, Sushila, I can hear you. Yeah, I'm new to this technology. I would like to learn. Okay. So earlier, I'm, I'm, I have work experience with uh, testing. Mm -hmm. so I'd like to move to this this technology. So I joined the test. Okay, okay. Perfect, Sushila. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. So again,
yes and uh, as you all hear nowadays the terminologies data analyst data scientist and data engineer are the like you know job titles what, what we listen every day what does it includes data analytics and uh, like data scientist and data engineer so uh, can you please tell me the difference between these three terminologies anyone Uh, hello. Hello. Okay. And data analyst, analyst is the person that who uses the data, it represents the data, that okay. gives the uh, uh, insights about the problem that the business is facing. Yes, exactly. As you said, so data analyst is a person who will be using data analysis and analytics tools to draw useful insights. and he'll be dealing only with the structured data and uh, he'll be using uh, you know tools like uh, spreadsheets sql visualization software and also he only performs the statistics which includes descriptive and diagnostic analysis whereas data scientist is a person who who deals with structured and unstructured data and which involves the statistical tool statistical analysis which is predictive and prescriptive so so that he will be drawing the useful insights from the data so this is the most you know a frequently asked interview questions what is the difference between data analyst and data scientist okay data and one more time i'll repeat it data analyst is a person who will be dealing with the structured data and he use uh, various tools like uh, spreadsheet excel sql and also uh, python and visualization software and he performs descriptive and diagnostic analysis whereas the data scientist deals with the both structured and unstructured data which involves you know predictive and prescriptive analysis and he'll be using advanced statistical module machine learning and programming language like python and r and uh, data engineer is a person who deals with you know a uh, cloud data warehouse where uh, he'll be builds the data infrastructure ensuring that data from the customer transactions are included and collecting and storing in the cloud so whereas he'll be using tools like uh, snowflake azure data uh, warehousing so on yeah so where all these data analytics is applied so it it is applied everywhere like in business healthcare sector finance sports in business uh, we use to identify the market trends optimizing the operations and improving the customer experience uh, in healthcare we use like in predicting the disease outbreak and personalizing the treatment plans and improving the patient's care also in finance it is used to detect the fraud managing risk and optimizing the investment portfolio uh, in sports we use it as like you know analyzing the player performance improving them uh, like team strategy and enhancing the fun engagement okay as we discussed uh, now uh, the difference between data analytics engineer and scientist so like what are the tools they use analyst 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 will use the tools you know spreadsheet database tableau power bi and google analytics like uh, we have an example so they deals with the you know converting the raw data into a meaningful insights and analyzing the sales data like examples analyzing the sales data identifying such products are popular during a specific season whereas uh, you know uh, in data engineer will deals with designing building maintaining the infrastructure for data generation and storing so they'll use sql hadoop spark aws cloud google cloud and etl tools and snowflake etc also data scientist he'll be analyzing and dealing with the predictive uh, modules whereas he'll be using python r language and uh, jupyter notebooks sql hadoop sparks 
मैम आई हैव वन क्वेश्चन यस मैम इन डेटा एनालिटिक्स पाइथन इज नेसेसरी और नॉट या इट्स नेसेसरी यू नो बेसिक टू इंटरमीडिएट लेवल इट्स नेसेसरी फॉर डेटा एनालिस्ट क्लियर yes ma'am we are there we are there yeah okay and uh, yeah these are the following tools where the data analyst will be using so we'll be using spreadsheet excel databases like uh, sql uh, we'll use uh, programming language python and for visualization we'll be learning here uh, power bi and tableau our language and google analytics as well so these are the below tools uh, used by data scientist uh, he'll be using python our language and all as discussed uh, in above and engineer use you know snowflake sql airflow aws glue docker kubernetes etl tools and all so here we come for the next topic uh, types of data analytics this is you know the most important topic to understand here so we have four types of uh, data analytics one is descriptive diagnostic predictive and prescriptive so what is descriptive diagnostic predictive and prescriptive so as we all know uh, descriptive is nothing but which deals with the historical data if imagine you as a data analyst so you will be given a data by the company the old data whatever like the previous year the previous month whatever the data they have given you to analyze the data is known as historical data which is also called as descriptive you'll be dealing with that data the process is known as descriptive analysis okay so dealing with the old data that is known as descriptive analytics diagnostic analysis is nothing but while analyzing the descriptive data you'll understand why the data or why the result why, what the happen finding the reason for the old data is known as diagnostic analysis and predictive analysis is nothing but once you have analyzed the data and find the reason of uh, the data why like why the profit uh, drop down or what what why the sales come down what why, what is the reason for the uh, increase in the sales everything will includes questioning is diagnostic and predictive is nothing but uh, like predicting the future outcome based on the historical data and statistical methods whatever you have done in predictive and prescriptive uh yeah what uh, descriptive and diagnostic whatever the results you have obtained so that results according to that you can uh, predict the future the process is known as descriptive and prescriptive is nothing but suggest an action to achieve you know the desired outcome by using the algorithms and machine learning so whatever the decisions are made and whatever the results have been obtained so you will be you know uh, getting the things into an action that process is known as prescriptive so do you have any question in this types of uh, analytics ma'am can you explain again prescriptive analysis yeah prescriptive is nothing but you'll be having uh, the data once the descriptive and diagnostic process is done you'll be having a set of results you know according to that you'll predict the future what happens next what decision to be made the process is known as predictive predict prediction is nothing but uh, like you know uh, predicting the future what outcome we get that predicting the things clear yes okay so we have few more types of data analysis so here we have a qualitative qualitative is nothing but uh, which can't be measured in terms of numbers 
so uh, and uh, we can give an examples of feedbacks or customer satisfactions that kind of data is known as qualitative whereas quantitative which can be measured in terms of number we can give ranking or ratings for the products and all uh, we have exploratory data analysis inferential analysis and uh, predictive as we say uh, discussed uh, like you know using the historical data it helps to predict the future trends and events and uh, casual analysis which determines the cause and effect of the relationship between uh, variables okay so we have one example real time example we can discuss it so just i'll tell you what exactly it is so let's have a discussion on this case study so here we have a telecom company uh, the task here as a data analyst is to analyze the customer data to understand why some customers are leaving the telecom company as a data analyst your job is to identify the patterns such as you know customer behavior or uh, demographics that could explain this thing like why the customers are leaving after this uh, you know patterns you will be predicting which customers are mo mostly to leave in the future and so that company can take a action on that to uh, you know regain the customer so uh, this is a case study so just uh, let's have a quick uh, you know uh, discussion as a data analyst so what are the steps you'll be taking to uh, you know collect the data or whatever the things Yeah. Chakshit, uh, can you answer this question? So firstly, we collect the data in um, various forms like uh, CSV files, SQL mm -hmm. database. Okay. After that, we will fix the numerical values. For example, date terms, um, like date formats are mismatch or mm -hmm. null values are there. We have to clear the data okay after that we will uh, uh, we will try to understand the data that can find the source of problem that uh, yes. this particular data is uh yes ranak as you said you know first you'll be understanding the objective of the business so what exactly business is asking for you you have to find out the people who are likely to live in the future right so that is the objective so you'll define the objective what exactly business wants from you and you'll understand the data understanding is nothing but what data you have to collect you have to gather the customer name when did they join uh, like when did they uh, all the details of the customer you'll be collecting and you'll clean the data according to the business requirement again you'll you know uh, using the different uh, various tools and all you'll perform the you'll uh, do the uh, like you know you'll clean the data you'll transform the data using the tools and you'll finally uh, put it in a visualization bar where it will be helping for the business to uh, take a decision right likewise here in this case study, the first process is understanding the data. So collection, data collection is very important and data type. So data type, it's, which includes uh, monthly charges, like total charges and gender, contact type and time-based like that. And data cleaning will be, hand, uh, which includes handling the missing values, outlier detection. Outlier plays a major role in the process of data cleaning i'll teach you this in the when we are dealing with the case studies in the real time projects and data transformation and uh, feature scaling <clears throat> these are the data cleaning and preparation so what whatever the things you'll be doing in a data handling and here exploratory data analysis you'll be uh, like you know uh, distributing the customer tenants, you'll analyze univariate and bivariate 
depending upon the requirements and you'll put that into visualization bar histogram scattered plots or box plots whatever uh, the business asks you to do you'll be analyzing the things in that and also you'll be creating the charts graph dashboards and presents the visualizations and reports and also proper communication is most important as you are a data analyst you will be knowing what exactly happening with the company and uh, why what reason everything you are analyzed and you have the result of the data right so you have the answer for the question for the business so you you should communicate properly with the business why why the people are leaving the company telecom company and uh, what is the reason you should communicate properly with the business so that it will be helping for the business to take decision right so the most important thing is as a data analyst you should be a good communicator you should be a good storyteller you can convince the business uh why, why what they are lagging into according to your study and next you have to frequently monitor and maintain the data systems and uh, the process which are running smoothly and monitor the data quality and performance and also the most important thing is continuously you have to uh, improve and update your data whatever you have created in the past By doing all the things, the key factors for the contributing the customer chunks, predicting which customers are mo most likely to uh, leave and the actionable insights for the telecom company, the company will be using, yeah, as discussed, uh, this is the process where you'll be handling the real time projects in the company as well. The question will be like this, you'll be handled over the few data and you'll be giving a few questions, a list of questions. Find out this, find why. what is the reason. You'll be handling with the data like this. So we'll do uh, practically these kind of case studies in future classes. And this is a route map. So where you'll be learning statistics, Excel, SQL, Python, data visualization, we'll learn Power BI, and tab you if we get, you know, uh, once the completion of all the syllabus, if we get time, so we can uh, give two days of time for tab you and one day for our language. So that will be uh, the entire roadmap of our data analyst will be covering all the tools in eight weeks. And here, what if once all the, you know, you, ha you have learned all the things, and what are the job opportunity available for data analyst? So we have uh, job titles like junior data analyst, data analyst, business intelligence analyst, reporting analyst, data visualization specialist, finance analyst, product analyst, healthcare data science, and uh, supply chain analyst, risk analyst, business analyst, quantitative analyst, and so on. So we have huge market for data analyst now. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, so for new joiners, do you have any questions? So we'll start with the uh, session from today, like basic Excel. So do you have any questions? Uh, let's have like, you know, 10 or like five to 10 minutes discussion. And let's continue with the session. All clear, man. Okay, then perfect. All good, sir, man. Uh, sorry. I said all good, sir, man. I'm okay. clear. Yeah, thank you, Mahesh. So we'll uh, start with. Yeah, we'll go with Excel. And let's start with like, you know, 
a quick fun Excel related quiz. Okay, the uh, which uh, like uh, the basic question I'll be asking you. So we have uh, like suppose I'll copy the thing. I'll paste it over here. So I have to sum. So what are the three ways of calculating the total of this column? Yeah, please answer. Whatever you answer, I'll perform here. Mom, uh, sharing your screen, I'm not able to something. Okay. Let me reshare re my screen. Okay, are you able to see here? Yes. Okay, yes, perfect. Yeah. Uh, please tell me what are the three ways we can calculate sum. Equal to sum. Set of all the above. Okay, perfect. Equals to sum. Set of all the above. Okay. Yeah, perfect. By selecting the all value and additional column and also press alt equal to. Yes, exactly. Alt equal to. Yes, perfect. Uh, this is the shortcut keys you, you have to use uh, from now on. That is alt equal to. It gives the total of the column. And next, I want to write A plus B whole square. So how can I write it in a scientific, uh, in a mathematical formula? Set of A plus B, close the bracket, shift plus six. Sorry? A plus B. Okay. Set of A plus B. A plus B. Close the bracket, shift, whole shift plus six. Close the bracket, shift. Six. No. Have to add equal to, I think, in print. Okay, I'll show you how. So, yeah, we have to select two here the font, superscript. Here we go. We can also use the superscript function. Yeah. See, uh, superscript uh, for this, if I write H2O, the scientific formula. So here. I can use subscript. Any shortcut we can use for this? Uh, any shortcut is available? Uh, no, uh, you, you can select this and uh, here you have su superscript and subscript, you can use it. Shortcut key, I think. Uh, I need to research on it, but frequently we used to use this. Fine. So next, uh, we'll start with a dynamic array functions. So I have a table over here. Which table should I take? Yes. Let me select this table. I'm sorry, I have a doubt. Like, yeah. Is alt equal to a shortcut for uh, some function? Alt equal to yes, it's a shortcut key for some function. So here I'll show you again. Uh, here we have a salary uh, column. So alt equal to sum of this column. I got some somewhere around here, three, four, something. Yeah, clear. So now we'll learn about dynamic array function.
So here we have filter unique sort sort by sequence. So these are the most uh, important dynamic array to be known. Here we have a table, so uh, the set of data. I'll do one thing. So like instead of, you know, we used to select uh, like this, right? Instead of selecting the data like this, we can use the shortcut key. I'll uh, use control, shift, down arrow, and right arrow. So it will select entire data what uh, till where the table ends. So I'll control T. Control T I'll give to create a table. To create a table, there is a shortcut key control T by selecting all the data. I'll I choose control T shortcut. Okay. So the data is converted to a table. Let me change the color over here. Yeah. So we have a data. Okay. So the filter, filter function is used to filtering the list of data. So uh, for that, I use formula. I have data like name, gender, department, age, join date, rating, salary, and manager. So for filter function, equals, uh, before uh, giving the formula, I have to name the table, right? So for that, I have to go to table design. Here the table name, I'll give the table name as, uh, you know, employee detail, employee data, right? Now equals filter function, open bracket, employee data, In employee data, I want the data of department. Uh, sorry, I'll take it as manager. Manager bracket equals to John. So here you can see the data. Like I have used the filter function. Yes, here we have an employee data as a table in that I have chosen a manager where who are the who all the employees are reporting to John, the manager John. I have filtered the data of the employees. I'll just explain one more time what I did in a filter function. So uh, the question is you have to find what are the employees are reporting to John. So I can uh, give a formula the table name, employee data, comma, employee data, in that I want manager John. So I have added, applied the filter formula. So where I got the data of all the employees who are reporting to John. So here I can change uh, it to my 
आइक और सुशांत Yes, exactly. According to the business needs, you can apply the filter. If you want department wise, you can add on the filter on department wise. I have shown you, uh, like you know, the manager or uh, filter. So in under that manager, how many employees are working? So I have shown you that. And according to the business requirement, you can apply the filter on it. But the formula will be the same. You have to choose the table, and uh, you have to give. what criteria you want like i have given a management where you you can instead of management you can give you know uh, the department and in that department you want only the particular finance who all are working in a finance domain so you can give in within a bracket finance you'll have a data clear yes and this clear and also if we want only a particular data not all the data from the employee data then uh then we can use you know we look up direct we look up rather than going to the yeah filter filters uh filter is used to get, uh, extract a data uh like in a, like multiple times but we look up you want exactly this particular this alis or bob only the data to whom she is working for to whom she is reporting for only the single data what you will extract that you can use like you know uh, we look ups it will be helping so we can have a look at it also so equals we look up so what i want bob to whom she is reporting for comma i'll give select entire table so here column number One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Manager is eight, and false. False is to get an exact match. Enter. Right. So this is a VLOOKUP function. so there are you know multiple functions can be used at a time to get, gather a data so accordingly we have to understand what are the ways we can get the data likewise i like i'll write it over here the name of the employee um, jack jack i'll write it and i'll apply the formula again equals we look up jack and uh, here one more thing the spellings should be proper we look up open parenthesis jack comma select entire data comma so now i want uh, when did jack join so the column number is 1 2 3 4 5 fifth column comma i can give zero or either i can type false close the parenthesis enter 
using vlookup can we get uh, data for uh, two or three columns is it possible like for example here we got uh, for a single column yes yeah, but if at the same time i need uh, two or three columns together like a random columns for example here i need a gender age mm -hmm. and manager reporting manager yes i require like that then in a single formula can we do that is it possible Oh, yes, it's possible. I'll teach you it in next uh, coming classes. So today's topic will complete this and later we'll go for VLOOKUP. We have like, you know, uh, three to four uh, methods of calculating VLOOKUP. We can go with uh, uh, column wise, we can go with row wise. Also, we can calculate VLOOKUP with uh, multiple columns, uh, which you are asking now, right? For multiple yes, columns, yes. we can, multiple uh, columns. yeah, we can uh, uh, like, you know, uh, display the, results of age joining date as well as the rating in at a uh, time. it's a random columns not a sequential like it could be age rating or manager or else a department rating and manager like it's a random columns not a sequence uh yeah we can uh, like do that i'll uh, teach you that in upcoming classes mahesh yeah as of now uh, let's uh, finish today's topic that is uh, filter Filter, we uh, we know that. Uh, one one more time, I'll repeat it. So now, filter equals filter employee date is a table name. In that, I'll filter. Um, based on department department equals to hr so we have the people the number of employees who are working in the hr department with this salary with this team lead Perfect. And now, so in this, I can also do one more thing. Who are have like I now I got a data according to the department HR, and one more uh, formula in filter. I can I want who are you know uh, getting salary more salary like uh, above sixty five thousand. I need to filter that. So just I'll use a formula filter equals filter table name employee data in that I want names of the people who are getting more than 65,000 open parenthesis employee data department what is the department we have given equals to hr close parenthesis we have to use multiply symbol Then open the parenthesis, table name. Salary. More than or equal to 60,000, 65, let me give 65,000. Close parenthesis, enter. So here in this department, we have filtered who are getting salary above 65,000. Above 65,000, these people are getting. So I have filtered. This fill. I can write it uh, 
the count del as in a like business requirement would be so who are the uh, employees are getting more than 65000 in hr department so you you want to uh, uh, like gather the information of it you'll be having a more data so you can use filter function you, you have to select a table where in that table you have to go with the department so in that department apply a function salary more than or equal to 65000 so you'll be having a result of it so the next uh, function is unique sorry i have it down yes uh, in the recent one like where we used a condition greater than 65000 what's the purpose of providing there is it a operator or uh, uh, my does it is breaking uh, i'm asking like uh, what does that multiplier uh, symbol mean is it an operator or does it uh, represent anything like here we have used a multiplier multiplier symbol. yeah it's an operator yes exactly it's so or right yeah or means like here the condition is the first one is this condition or so it should match either one of the both yes if we want uh, can we use and to get the exact data can we use end also there uh amp percent can be used you know uh, for to get the exact yeah. match yes yes we can but uh, yeah i'll show you with uh, one more thing by using uh, for the same data equals unique employee table department i'll use ampersand space employee data and uh, i want only the manager things i'll uh, choose it manager it's a parenthesis yes uh, ampersand can also be used Uh, there you have given ampersand with a double. Uh, yeah, double quotes I have represent? used to give a space between the, uh, like you know words. Okay, like to separate the words. Yeah, yeah, to give a space. So here HR. So I have fil uh unique uh filtered. Mm -hmm. In that in this HR uh and IT department. i just extracted the unique thing with the manager by using the amp ampers clear and space and and means it is separating both yeah exactly yeah it is and this is unique feature unique function Uh, one more uh, unique function we can use the basic thing it will extract the unique uh, it removes all the duplicates and extract only the unique uh, items in a table so i'll uh, show you the thing equals unique and table name table name is uh, employee data in that i want uh which data shall we take we'll take a manager manager yes so this is the unique function which will you know uh, its function is to remove all the duplicates and extract the unique items in a table 
So the next function is sort. Sort is used to arrange the data in, in an order, whether it may be ascending order or descending order. So the sort is nothing but as arranging the data in an order. So we'll uh, try this with the formula. Sort function equals to sort. To select the formula, we have to use a tab and uh, in sort, we have uh, like uh, the case is arrange and sort the data in an like salary basis. We'll do that, uh, we'll do now. So we have salary and yeah unique employee table in that we'll again uh, go with the department So this is one kind where we can sort the data in an ascending order. See, we have sorted the data, like we have uh, applied a formula, unique function. I have extracted uh, the unique things, unique item, where it is sorted according to ascending order. So also I can use a formula equals sort, employee table comma six uh, like I'll take sixth column what is the sixth column one two three four five six seven okay seven is salary comma uh, for ascending order, we'll use one, and for to sort the data in descending order, we'll use minus one. Close the bracket. Enter. So yes, see you have you got a data sorted a descending order based on the salary. Right. So we have used sort function, selected a table and column, and we have chosen a descending order to sort the table. Do you have any questions? Yes, it is clear. Okay. So we have one more function, sort by. Sort by where we'll use to apply, apply like, you know, we have only chosen one column here. If I want to uh, filter or I want to sort the data by using two or more column, I can use sort by function. So here, sort by. Here, sort by, I'll give a formula equals sort by table name, employee data, comma. In employee data, I'll uh, choose department. I want department to be arranged, uh, sorted in an ascending order. I'll give it one and again comma table name I'll uh, take salary as a column two and I want this to be arranged in a descending order so that I'll give minus one close the bracket enter salary here 
uh, error came because salary spelling is wrong. Yeah. So here I got a department in ascending order and salary in descending order. Fine. So this is how you can sort the data in an advanced level. So rather than we have uh, here, you know, the tabs where we can use sort functions. I'll show you that also. And uh, the last and uh, least the sequence. Yeah, what is sequence? Sequence is, uh, it. what does it do? It simply generates a range of numbers, can be used uh, while, you know, filtering or the formula, while we writing a formula, we can use it. And while filtering, we can use it. So let's uh, run a simple formula for sequence. So sequence equal sequence 10, enter. So see, I'll got, uh, you know, the range of numbers. I use the formula equal sequence of 10. So I got 10. If I change, so whenever you are uh, in a dynamic array, this array, whatever we have, uh, you know, calculated the table. So it will be, uh, you know, bordered with a blue line. So wherever we can't anywhere, we can't run a formula, it gives an error. So we have to run the formula in a first uh, cell of the column. Wherever I click, uh, where, we can't run the formula here. Only we can run the formula in the first cell of the column while doing the dynamic array. This is one function we have. Uh, and also in the sequence also likewise the same thing so i want like 20 sequence uh, the number range so i can't go here in the you know uh, nine cell and i can i can't change over here so i have to go here the first cell of that column and i have to give 18 enter so yeah so here we go we have a data of it One more formula in the sequence is equal to. I'll show you the sequence form function using the form uh, like filter things. Filter, sort, and also uh, the sequence. Three functions in one formula. Let me zoom in. have a doubt yeah yeah please uh, when we are using sequence formula if we hide or delete any row does it affect the range for example if i hide it if i have added 25th row by default you know it will be protected the data will be protected already so whatever you have given uh, and you can't uh, make a changes also once it is done the data is uh, applicable for the formula so you can change only with the first cell of the table so you can't do here whatever the changes you do it will affect all the data if we if we hidden an entire row then does it affect the entire data oh uh, yeah it will affect entire data like hiding a row uh hiding a row no uh if you hide or uh, protect the sheet so it doesn't affect uh, like we have given a sequence of 15 for example mm -hmm. this 15 i have hidden uh 10th row entire 10th row 
Okay. Like how does uh, does it affect or uh, it just displays the only sequence? Uh, yes, it will affect uh, Mahesh. Okay. Means we shouldn't hide. We shouldn't uh, use any filter for this. We can't use. We can use filter and sort for this, but uh, if we uh, rewrite it or mm -hmm. rewrite the formula, uh, we have to rewrite in a first column of the uh, first cell of the column. So I'll show you uh, by adding uh, the filter function and sort function to the sequence. Equals a filter and sort. I'll take a table name. And uh, salaries minus one is for descending. I'll give. And here, before that, uh, I'll just use sort function for Say I got a data, right? So I have uh, used the sort function in a table. Uh, I have given a salary and it has been arranged in a ascending order. So here, I'll just find what is the number range for this table. One second. It's 46. 46 is the number range, the total count for this particular table. So here I can uh, use the formula equals filter, open parenthesis. Here I can give sequence. We have a number range 46, close parenthesis. I want top, you know, uh, number range for uh, first 10. So I'll give more than or equal to 10. Enter. So in that data, in that 46, top 10 is a sequence, the range I have filtered. So yeah, this is the result of top 10. So where I have filtered and sorted according to the ascending order, the top 10 out of 46 uh, employees, the top 10 who are, uh, you know, taking salary range. So clear? Yes, no. Yes. So uh, in this table, if we hide or uh, delete any, like, can you select 23rd row, like entire 23rd row? Okay. If we hide this entire row, does it affect the data? Uh, of course, it affects the data because the formula is applicable for all. Okay. It affects the data. Means when we are using any formula, we shouldn't... Uh, you no. hide or delete any error. No, no, we shouldn't delete. Instead of that, to avoid the, you know, uh, data missing, we have to protect always our sheet or always our worksheet uh, before, you know, uh, we have to protect our sheets to avoid uh, like, you know, missing data or uh, whatever the errors occurs in the future. So we have to always uh, keep in mind that we will protect the data, whatever we have doing that analysis while doing an analysis. Yes, I'm clear. Thanks. Okay, now uh... Uh, yes, Sunny, yes, Radha, Aronak, Sushila, 
Mahesh and Neeraj. So do you have any questions? So today we have learned the dynamic unit function with the demo sessions. So we learned filter oh, function. Unit. One question, like what is a dynamic array mean? So dynamic array is a unique function, uh, which is, you know, uh, applicable recently by Microsoft 360. Uh, no versions, uh, we can use uh, dynamic array functions, which includes filter, sort by, and unique and rand array also. I'll show it uh, in the upcoming classes. Yeah, it's, you know, unique functions which are available in a Microsoft 360 and it is an upgraded function and still more functions are yet to come. Dynamic in the sense of the new, new functions introduced by Microsoft 360. It's a new update. Yeah, it's a new features, new functions in an Excel. So it is called dynamic fun dynamic array functions. And uh, also, if you run the dynamic array functions, as I told you, uh, in that the bl blue border line will be coming for that. So we can't apply any other formulas to that. It gives an error. So it has that limitation and also advantage for that. Means it's a protected data dynamic function. Yes. But here we have used a dynamic function, but I like this all comes in the dynamic various array. Yes, correct. But uh, blue line mentioned like yeah, blue line. Yeah, I'll show you that. It's a border line. So here these all are the data what we have calculated. See the blue border line you can see right yeah yeah yes 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 yeah, that shows an array okay. the set of uh, group okay okay yeah do you have any questions so that we can uh, wind up our demo session today and uh, once the registrations are done uh, we can start uh, from next saturday sunday with the portions I'm clear. Yeah, yeah, I'm good with uh, with today's class. Thank you. Okay, Radha, thank you so much. And usually, like, what are the batch timings? Like, is it from six to eight or six to nine? Uh, six to eight regularly. So, uh, like, will if all are comfortable and uh, will uh, we can extend the timings and complete the portions as soon as possible. We can uh do it according to the you know all all everyone's opinion so we can go at the two hours or two and a half hour in a weekends saturday sunday 6 pm to 8 pm is a standard timing and uh, according to the requirements if all are comfortable we can extend our batch timings like uh, rather than completing soon like uh, even if extending the hours can we go a little slow like so that we can uh, complete uh, everything. Yeah, we can. As today's uh, demo session, only I uh, did all the things and all in my uh, system. So uh, upcoming classes, I'll be giving you some tasks to complete because it's as it is a weekend. So there will be a more time for you to learn and practice the things. So we'll be giving you this uh, like task to complete. And you can come up with the doubts. We can uh, discuss on it, and uh, we can you, you even you can share your screen and show us what you have learned, and we can discuss accordingly. And discussions we will be doing only on Saturday, Sunday, or we can conduct in the weekdays also. Uh, we can uh, discuss through WhatsApp channel, and also we can as the batch timings are on weekends. We uh, we can like, discuss on Saturday, Sundays only because I won't be available in the weekdays. I have different batches. And uh, do uh, like uh, is it up to uh, intermediate level or uh, it's just a basic one like for a data analyst? this entire course, do we go into the complete expert level or just only the things what we require for the job purpose? 
no 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 we'll be learning from basic to advanced level so here we'll be covering uh, excel basic to advanced python basic to intermediate and uh, databases basic to advanced and also along with that we'll be learning uh, visualization power bi and tab uh, if all the syllabus completes uh, as soon as possible so we'll be uh, learning tab in couple of days and also our language and also we'll have a like you know basic knowledge on uh, etl tools and also azure data warehousing so on like snowflakes we'll have just an introduction class of it so you can apply mm -hmm. for uh, all the roles you can go with the uh, data scientist or data engineer or data analyst everyone use the same tools but uh, data engineer will be using the cloud based data and data scientists will be using python in our language so yeah it will be helpful for you to get into all the domain ma'am i have one question uh yes sir ma'am uh, you, uh, you ma'am in a excel or a power bi we you we use ai or not uh ai yes we'll use i'll show you that also we we'll learn ai in with excel or power bi uh in power bi i'll just uh, i'll teach you how to integrate or how to import or export the data from uh, Py uh, excel to python and python to excel also with the databases so we'll use with the help of ai sorry can you explain ai topics or not uh, in visualization tools Uh, your voice is breaking, Sunny. Um, he is trying to say that uh, we, we, we are using artificial intelligence in Power BI. Uh, no, no, no. As of now, uh, we won't. Uh, if want, I can teach you. But uh, it's it's not there in syllabus, actually. <clears throat> His question is that are we going to learn uh, artificial intelligence in both Excel and Power BI? Yes, yes. Uh, hello uh, yes his question is uh, related to artificial intelligence are we going to uh, use it in both excel and power bi if yes are we going to get trained in both excel and power bi on artificial intelligence uh yes for data analysis uh, ai uh, like machine learning will be using but as of now in excel and python uh, in this uh, like you know uh, in this data analysis we aren't using uh, like uh, it doesn't cover, but we use it in a real time. Are we going to get trained on this in this? Uh, uh, yeah, time? if you want uh, by end of the sessions, uh, by end of the course, I can show you the things. How does it works? Yeah. So in that uh, AI will be using, you know, uh, Azure AI will be using for analysis. So Excel insights will be considered by like Power Query will be using for automate automation, the data transformation and all. So I'll show you that and all how it works and how Azure machine learning uh, will works in a real time. So I'll show you all the things by end of the course. Ma'am, um, in Excel, can we use Python? Yeah, we can use it. We can use Python, SQL. Ma'am, inside the Excel. Sorry? Inside the Excel, can, uh, we use, can we use Python? Yeah, we can use Python. We can also use SQL. Okay. Yes. Do we uh, 
get learned in this like in this course uh sorry mahesh like uh, continuation to chakshit question like since we are using we are able to use python and uh, sql in excel are we going to get trained on that yeah yeah if you have uh, you know microsoft 365 uh, version of your excel so we can easily do that uh, yeah do, during once the course topics are completed we'll be dealing with the real time projects right so in that we'll be uh, learning all the things in real time so you'll be trained on it as well so we'll cover like two to three real time projects and we'll ask you to uh, we'll ask you like give you the task to complete that so you'll be having a practice session as well as the training session both Uh, yes. So, do you have any questions? So, we can wind up the demo session. So, the timings will be uh, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. weekends, Saturday, Sunday. And all the recordings will be available on a drive. Once the registration is done, they'll uh, provide you the drive access. So, all the recordings will be available in a drive. So if you have any technical issues or anything, if you are not able to attend the class on any day, so you can uh, have an access of recordings so that you can have a follow up it because as it is a weekend, so you'll get the more time to practice on a topic and it will be covered uh, uh, soon, like uh, eight weekends. The syllabus will be completed, will be uh, learning from basic to advanced level. Uh, yes, Mahesh, uh, it will be enough. So what, what are the most important thing? I'll stress on it. And uh, the basic things will go with the uh, flow. And you can watch the recordings and learn throughout the week. So if you have any doubts, you can come up with that. We can discuss and continue with the topic. So it will be covering. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, we do get uh, like do uh, like we'll be provided with any any like uh, for weekdays. Do we provide any training videos? To complete every topic. Uh yeah, training recordings. The class recordings will be provided to you. These classes. Sorry. You mean like uh, the training recordings for this course, or like uh, for example, we are getting trained on Excel. On mm -hmm. weekends, for mm -hmm. entire week, uh, like as a institute provide us additional uh, video recordings so that we'll be getting trained much more. On no. Weekdays also. Uh, no, no, you'll get whatever the session you are into. So weekends, weekend recordings are available to you. Only the classes we attend. Yes, exactly. I thought like you'll be providing an uh, additional uh, classes like. Uh, no, 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 not like that. Only the, whatever you attend the classes, that recording will be provided to you. Uh, so, yeah, Ronak, uh, Sunny, Radha, Chakshit. Niraj, so shall we wind up? Do you have any questions? No question, ma'am. Okay, Chakshi. No question, ma'am. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, great demo session. Thank you, Mahesh. Uh, and uh, thank you, Radha, Ronak, Sunny, Vishwa. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. It was a great time with you all. And uh, we'll meet you all in the next weekend. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm good with thank you. Thank you, thank you, Vishwa. Thank yeah, you. Thank, thank you so much. much. Thank you all. Thank you.